Geoffrey Chaucer has been called as the father of English poetry, the English Homer, the morning star of the English muse. He has also been called as the first modern poet of England or the first great national poet and metrical artist as well as the first great painter of character, first narrative realist and humorist, or the greatest storyteller in verse. And uh, Geoffrey Chaucer, no doubt, uh, father of English poetry, he is uh, very famous and uh, English literature supposed to be started only from Geoffrey Chaucer. So, no doubt that uh, he had been Oh, he was the grandfather of the English novel also and uh, he was a religious and social reformer. Different writers, different critics uh, have told about him differently and what uh, kind of words they have used and these definitions, these lines or so these quotations are very, very popular about Geoffrey Chaucer. For example, Matthew Arnold, a Victorian poet what he said. So, all these are famous lines or famous quotations or definitions said about Geoffrey Chaucer by different writers or by different critics. According to Matthew Arnold, with him is born our real poetry. With him, with Chaucer is born our real poetry. Now, father of verse who in immortal song first taught the muse to speak the English tongue. And according to John Dryden, Geoffrey Chaucer is the father of English poetry. It was Edmund Spencer. He said because of, because of his avoidance of foreign language because Geoffrey Chaucer he used East Midland dialect or we can say that he used the best English for his poetry and this is why that Edmund Spencer what he said the well of English undefiled. Chaucer according to Lois, Chaucer found English a dialect and he left it a language. John Triton here is God's plenty because there is a lot of variety in characters and this is why the Dryden has used these words. Here is God's plenty. According to Kittiris, his age, age of Geoffrey Chaucer, a bridge between the Middle Ages and the Modern Ages and all these lines are very famous about Geoffrey Chaucer.